What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to Trekking with Trucker D. I'm Trucker D, and uh, we're back at it again. So, last week, what a shit show. I screwed up, man. I definitely screwed up on that on that booking. <coughs> you know, I wanted to get a load coming out of Uncle Ray's, and I finally found one going out to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I thought, great, it's perfect. This rate's great. I had no problem getting out of here a couple weeks ago when I came out that way. Boy, was I wrong. You know, like in the last video, I told you we were going to have to try to do 827 miles in one day. Well, that's because I ended up booking a load out of South Dakota, which was about 125 miles deadhead out further west into uh, South Dakota. And then, once I got out there and got picked up, I had to get all the way back to Chicago with that load. So, total miles was about 820 miles total. Was, I think was what I recorded on the paperwork. But it all worked out. We made it out to, uh, out to our pickup there in Chicago. In between our window of 9.30 and 12 o'clock is what we had. We got there about 10.30. The day before, we made it to Portage, Wisconsin. Stayed the night at the Petro. And it just sucked because, and it was a bad decision because it was a low rate and I had to drive fast. Now, I put it, I stayed at 70 miles an hour all day that day and boy, did it eat through the fuel mileage. So, unfortunately, it was what I had to do to get back into the eastern area. And we're definitely doing something different this week. So we may not have made much money on that load. We did end up clearing, I think, $1.77 all miles last week. And that was with starting on Tuesday. You know, I, I like going out far and working my way back. And it used to be profitable. But these rates, it just it isn't anymore. This market sucks. Fuel prices are racked up to almost $4 a gallon with what... I pay with my discount so I don't know I don't know y'all running running short this week though we're uh, staying right in the region you know Ohio from well I had a deadhead out here to Holland Michigan now it's only the west side of Michigan I'm getting good rates coming out of this area but it's just the deadhead makes my rate look horrible <clears throat> Still got this cough going on too, man. I just, I can't kick it. I don't know if it's something I caught in Louisville at the truck show or if it's just sinuses or a combination of both. But this week we're running down to Ohio from out here in Holland, Michigan. Then we're running back up to Illinois. Then doing a short hopper up into Wisconsin just so we can get a load coming back into Michigan. You know, we're doing another water load. Going back to the mire there in Lansing. So yeah. Loads aren't plentiful. You know, I've been looking at the load board for the following week. I got one load booked already for next Tuesday. I've been running Tuesday to Saturday. You know, my Mondays. I've been doing four days out, three days home. You know, I'm usually home by Saturday afternoon. Saturday around noon. And it's just... I'm, I'm running less because... There's not much out here. I don't want to, you know, keep putting money out here to make money. I'm just trying to make what I need to pay my bills at home and pay the bills in the company until the rates start picking up again. You know, there ain't just, it's garbage. You know, I, Truck Smarter was my number one go-to for loads. And I'm thinking about paying for truckstop.com to see if anything else is, see if there's more loads on there lately. You know, I've. I've done it back and forth before, and there's always been more loads on Truck Smarter, but I'm looking, you know, I've been working my way backwards, and I was trying to find something that picked up, or uh, delivered, you know, I've been work starting on Friday on the load board, something that delivered in Michigan, and then just kind of working my way back, but, you know, there's maybe two loads that are within reason back to Michigan next Friday. So I don't know. We're gonna just see what we can do and keep 
trying to run the best we can. We got some money saved up, so if we need to park it for a couple weeks and see if the market will pick back up. I mean, I've been reading 2024 is supposed to be good for the market, for the rates. I'm not seeing it yet. You know, we did just come out the first quarter. First quarter is usually slow, so I don't know, y'all. I don't know. On another note, though, someone commented on the last video that it was boring. And yeah, I guess I haven't been putting too much thought into these videos lately. I'm just getting back into doing videos again. You know, we did get a drone replacement, so who knows? They uh, got me in a dock here at uh, Tommy's Car Wash, so maybe I'll take the drone up. It is a little bit windy out, but maybe I'll get some drone footage here or maybe later on. I don't know. But with that, y'all, we're going to go ahead and uh, get on down the road as soon as they get us loaded. And uh, we'll see y'all out there. Later. What's happening, yo? We're loaded. We've got our seal right here. Pull four. We're here for about an hour. Not too bad. I was looking at places to stay for this load since it's like right in the Cincinnati area. There's really not much parking. So I think I'm going to stay right outside in Greensburg. I'm gonna go back here and close these doors though. Zoom this out a little bit. <coughs> so not too long ago I had my chain corrode that held this in here. Thankfully, got these little rubber things, twist ties here from uh, Amazon. They always leave them on the trailers. I grabbed me a few of them and good thing I had because they came in handy so far. I hope I'm not too close to that, should be. Oh wow, check this stuff out, y'all. Oh, I'm a seal. The wind is blowing on those seals. Oh, look, they even gave us a ratchet strap. Ain't that nice of them? This is all stuff for the car wash. It's all up here in the nose, so that should be good. <coughs> I still got these things out here. I have to peel those off. Yeah, I'll get them later. It's from them putting the uh, the wood on there, that dark container the other day. Good old Tommy's car wash. I was kind of excited when I seen this loaded on the board. I went and said car wash parts, anyways. Yeah, when I worked at the machine shop, there was a place we uh, used to make parts for called uh, Motor Shitty Wash. So I'm like, okay, cool. A little car wash load. After I booked it, though, I seen the address and everything, and it said Tommy's Car Wash. And let me, uh, hold on, y'all. Let me set you down here. Two seconds while I put this seal on here. All right, it's all sealed up. So anyways, like I was saying, Tommy's car wash. We use those for our personal vehicles. We got the monthly plan and we're really like Tommy. So I always like to do all freight for companies that I, that I use on a regular. So, but we're gonna go ahead and get on down the road get over here to this petrol in Greensburg, Indiana. Probably park there for the night and then we'll just get up and head to the delivery. Alright y'all, we'll talk to you in a bit. Later.
What's up, y'all? So I know that was a quick little stop there. You know, we just left the shipper literally, what, 10, 15 minutes ago? But I got to thinking, I'm like, you know what? I better go use this rest area really quickly because if I remember this route correctly, there ain't many, uh, many places that you can pull over quickly unless you want to get off the highway to uh, use the restroom. Now it's all US 31 down to uh, Indianapolis. Well, after after I 196, anyways.
we are out here in New Point, Indiana. And this is where we're stopping for the night. We're at a Petro. And we're right off 74. It's about an hour out from where our delivery is. I'm actually still contemplating on staying here, maybe trying to drive forward for uh, drive forward for uh, the delivery. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to park there. It might be a construction site considering it's a good possibility that they're building a car wash where we're going and those parts are going for that car wash. So yeah, we're sitting in a reserve spot right now. There's 90 spots in this parking lot and 50 of the 90 are all reserved. And on the Truck Smarter app, or not Truck Smarter app, but the Truck Smart app, which is the TA Petro app, it says that there are still 44 available spots left. So I'm parking here. And I'm just going to keep an eye on the, the app and see what happens. If it starts filling up in here like crazy, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just uh, use my points and buy uh, a spot, you know. I don't usually use my TA points for anything else but parking. Maybe a shower here and there if I don't have any credits or if my credits expire or something like that. So, yeah, this is what we're doing. We're staying right here. We got an hour between here and where we're delivering at tomorrow morning. And then we pick up at 4 and head up to Oswego, Illinois to deliver at 6.30 in the morning. <coughs> but... Now that we're parked, I did want to talk to y'all about something that kind of irritated me that I was thinking about the other day when I was driving 70 mile an hour just to get out to Chicago, Illinois from South Dakota. And it just, it would make more sense, you know, if people that were making the rules for trucking actually maybe drove truck every once in a while. You know, these ELDs, if they weren't, uh, if they weren't a thing, you know, maybe people, did, maybe drivers wouldn't drive as fast as they do. You know, just a while back, there were, they were talking about a speed limiter that they wanted to put in all semi-trucks. I think that's bullshit. You know. Now, I'm half and half honestly on the whole subject. You know, yeah, I think people should drive slower. But at the same time, I think we should not be slowed down because we may need to use our speed every now and then. But here's a whole other thing right here. You take these ELDs out. Yeah, I'm pointing at my tablet over here. You take these ELDs out of the subject line, maybe you guys wouldn't drive fast. That's the only reason I drove fast from South Dakota over to Chicago, Illinois, is I had to. I had no choice. I had to get to a certain spot by 10 p.m. Lab that night. If I didn't have this ELD, I would have drove my normal speed. You know, I've talked to all y'all before, and I drive a lot slower than I... Than probably anybody else does out here except for people that are trying to conserve their fuel. <coughs> now, when I drove fast that day and I filled up the truck that night, I was at, that fill up, I was at 6.4 miles to the gallon. That's horrible for me. Now, since I filled up that day, I was able to drive my normal speed limit that I wanted to. And this fill up here, 7.8 miles to the gallon. That's a mile and four tenths better than driving 70 the whole time. And I've been between 60 and 65 since I filled up last time. So, yeah. You know, they need to just take the ELD out of the whole subject line, you know. We don't need to be told how many hours a day we can drive. We don't need to be told how long during the day we can drive. Now I get it, there's people out there who messed it up for other people. You know, they kept trying to drive 
even after they were getting sleepy. And guess what? They still do that because these don't they, these don't help. All these ELDs they were created by Warner so they could try to slow down the op owner operator because mega carriers cannot compete with single truck owner operators. So let's just be real. Get rid of your stupid speed limiter, uh, your stupid speed limiter idea. And let's get rid of these freaking ELDs. Let us drive without them. Let us them. For shits and giggles, y'all. Let's get the FMCSA to let us go six months without an ELD. And let's see how much things change out here on the highways. Now, I can't speak for all of us on how we would react, but I know for the decent majority, they would take advantage of it and treat it right. But, <coughs> you know, and there was something else. I would, yeah. Brokers, man. So I stopped earlier. Now, I've already got one load book for next week. And I've been going through the load board and I found another load that I was very interested in and it would have helped me be it was the missing puzzle to the piece for the rest of the week that next week now I messaged them inquiring they emailed me right back told me the rate and I said well what's the delivery time and I said 800 I'll do it for it. no response back no response back no response back how are these brokers moving loads when half the time you email them and they don't freaking respond? They don't respond. You call there and they don't answer the phone. Now, I've called one brokerage before and I let the thing ring and ring and ring and it eventually just hung up on me. The phone itself because nobody was answering. So I don't I don't understand it. Like, why are brokers not answering their phones? Why aren't they responding to emails? Now, there's one brokerage. I had to literally call them to try to find out about a load or continuously email them until they finally respond about it. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It shouldn't be like that. You know, how the hell are y'all even still in business? Come on, brokers. Answer your phones. Let's, let's work together. I'm not against y'all. Yeah. Other drivers may be out here thinking you're keeping the rate, which I'm sure there's some of you out there who are taking more than you probably should, but, you know, us drivers, or us carriers are the ones that are agreeing to the rates that y'all are, or that we're asking for, you know? I mean, it's a give and take between the two carriers and brokers, but it's just irritating when you're trying to book a load and get your week call taken care of and planned out and... Y'all don't answer your damn phones or your emails. And they want to make brokerages. I mean, damn near the brokerages are trying to make everything all automated where you bid and book online. You know, some of these brokerages though aren't there yet. You know, CH Robinson, Coyote, they're one of the main ones that are all, almost all completely online. But you know what? Convoy was all online and look where they're at now. They're no longer here. So yeah, y'all, let's, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this prime truck back in and just totally lost and lose track of, uh, <coughs> lose track of what I was saying, but that's it for tonight, y'all. We're going to call it a night here. We're going to get up and we're going to go deliver this and, uh, yeah, as always, please like, share, subscribe, hustle hard and stay humble. And we'll see y'all next time. Later.